Hey carnivores, today we're gonna to be doing a boneless leg of lamb on the big green egg on a rotisserie. Stick around. I've got here a boneless leg of lamb. This is the one you get for $6 a pound at Costco. You notice that when they sell it to us, it's already in the netted bag. We don't even need to take it out of the bag. It's already trimmed really well. The fat on here is gonna render the way that we're gonna cook it, and we're gonna cook it hot and fast in a way that is gonna keep it from getting gamey and really impart some delicious flavors. So let's get started by getting the grill fired up because I have it set up differently than you're used to seeing. Let's head over there. All right, so let me show you what's different. So let's start with uh, this setup. This is uh, called the Jotisserie. It's made by Kamado Joe, the people that make uh, those red colored big green eggs. You might have seen me use it in my uh, pork rib rack video or in the uh, duck uh, with orange sauce video. So the next thing that you'll notice is that the charcoal basket's different, right? So you probably saw my review of the kick ash basket. Here I've got it set up with the kick ash divider and I've got the wood in the back. So I'm using uh, Fogo uh, premium hardwood charcoal and I've got uh, some chunks of apple in there. Apple goes really well with lamb. So when we fire this up, we're gonna get some of that apple flavor. So the last thing that I wanna show you is the thermometer, right? That normally you use uh, for the temperature on the dome, which I don't use anyway because I use the Thermalworks uh, signals and bellows. And I've replaced it with the temperature probe, the pit probe from the Thermalworks. So it's gonna go right in the dome and that's how I'm gonna keep track of the temperature. So let's go ahead and get this lit. Of course, as always, I'm lighting my gun with my grill gun from Grill Blazer. Uh, this is the fastest way to get a fire lit. Let's do this. Okay, while that comes up to temperature, let's go ahead and get back to our lamb. So I'm gonna start by putting a binder on. Now we're gonna be cooking over relatively high heat. We're looking to get this thing up to 400 degrees. So I'm gonna use avocado oil because it's got a nice high smoke point. Notice I'm not even taking the netting off. All I'm doing is rubbing the oil in as a binder. And when I say it's a binder, that means it's just gonna help my spices to stick. Okay, now the first spice that I'm gonna put on here is just a salt and pepper rub. This is uh, the standard barbecue starter pack here is salt and pepper. I've got 16 grain uh, black pepper and Morton's kosher salt in here and 50-50. And I'm gonna get all sides and don't worry about over seasoning. This is a big thick piece of meat, it can take it. Make sure you get the ends too. So now let's talk about the rest of the seasoning that we're gonna put on here. We're gonna dump uh, some thyme leaves into our tray. We're gonna put some chopped onion here. This is gonna go really great on the rotisserie. And then let's do the same thing here with dried garlic. And I'm gonna put a little bit more of this avocado oil on, on top of the salt and pepper. Spread out my herbs and spices and just roll my leg of lamb right in here. This is too big of a piece of meat to try to measure exactly. We're getting the flavors that we want with the thyme and with the onion and with the garlic and with the salt and pepper. Okay, we are seasoned up. Now let's go ahead and get this onto the spit. So this is the rotisserie uh, rod that comes with the jotisserie. I'm going to uh, put on one fork, and I'm not gonna get this right. I might have to move it when I get close to the grill, but I'm gonna get it roughly right. Um, it's gonna stick out a little bit farther here uh, for the rotisserie to go into the rotisserie motor, so it's gonna be a little bit longer over there. And then we're gonna try to get as close to through the middle as we can. Okay, I'll be back when the grill's up to temperature. Okay, the grill's running at 400 here, so let's go ahead and get our leg of lamb on. Now I also have here a meter thermometer. This is a Wi-Fi thermometer. 
that I'm gonna put here into the thinner part of the leg because I wanna make sure, unlike when we're doing a brisket and we're trying to get it the most well done, uh, I actually wanna make sure we don't overcook this. So let's go ahead and start the rotisserie. I'll set up my meter application, we'll watch it, and we're gonna let this cook until it gets to 120 degrees. It's not gonna take that long, probably hour, hour and a half, uh, but I'll be back when we get up to temperature, and then it's gonna get exciting. Okay, it's been an hour and 20 minutes, and the meter app tells me that we're right near 120. We're at 119 and climbing, so we'll be there in a second. And we're not stopping at 120. We're gonna sear at 120. Now, one of my favorite uh, barbecue channels, Smoking Dad Barbecue, did a very similar cook to this, and he just opens up his Kamado Joe, that uh, red big green egg that we talked about, and he opens it up and gets the coals nice and hot and sears that way. But that's not how we do things on this channel. On this channel, when we got a sear, we use a flamethrower. So there's discounts for this uh, and for the charcoal and the baskets and everything in the description. So make sure you check that out. But in the meantime, I think you're gonna like this. Hey guys, welcome back. That, I, I'm sorry, but searing with this thing is so much fun. So this is my friend Mark. You might have seen him in our 1,000 subscriber celebration. If you uh, are new here, this is Leah, the nine-year-old food critic. And um, Mark actually got to see, and Leah took some pictures. I'll show you some of those pictures of uh, that sear, because that was so much fun, wasn't it How fun? hot was that, though? Because there were flames everywhere. So this thing burns at over three thousand degrees three thousand degrees so like that propane is gone before it hits the meat so there's no it's not gonna taste like it was on a gas stove it was, I promise. it was pretty cool right but let's get into this lamb are you guys hungry yeah so I'm gonna cut off what's remaining of this net that didn't burn off oh my god look at this look at what's going oh, on it's falling here. Apart. It's yeah falling I'm gonna turn apart. this over so you guys can see the inside of this from where they removed oh the bone so that yes. netting yeah. held it together after but they took the that's bone That's exactly out. right. And that netting Costco puts on. I didn't put that on, right? Wow. So let's get a couple of slices. So this is just like the bone in. So the grain's going this way. So we're going to cut this way. Yeah. All right. So oh, it's like butter. And then I'll, uh, I'll cut these into a little bit smaller pieces uh. so that they're tasteable. <laughs> All right. So Leah, you want to give one to Uncle Mark? Okay. All right. I was, gonna, uh, I was going you? to give you the bigger piece. Leah, do you uh, do you want to take a piece for yourself? Yeah, I'll take this one. Okay, and uh, I'll take this one. And who's that one for? Them. That's for you guys. Uh, yeah. All right, so you guys get to taste some too. All right, you ready? Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Mm. <laughs> that is so good. <laughs> That is like MTY to the third power. All right, so I got a question. It's their question, okay? So lamb is gamey, right? Is this gamey? Yeah, re not really that much. No, right? Uh -uh. So the reason is because we did it hot and fast. It wasn't exposed to air. It was exposed to smoke the whole time. So this is a great way to avoid gaminess is to cook it on a rotisserie like this over high heat. All right, yeah, so Leah gamey. likes to do MTY, moist, tender, yummy. Are you ready? All right, was it moist? Um, 5,000 times moist. Okay, that's oh, yeah. that's a lot. Okay. It was not dry at all. Tender? Um, oh, yeah. Super tender, you saw it fall Yeah, super apart. tender, just kind of falls apart there and yummy. Absolutely. Definitely. Nailed Definitely. it. Okay, yeah. so yeah. try this, guys. I think you're really you gonna enjoy this. And this is, remember, this is a cheap piece of meat. You could also try it with a heritage piece uh, of lamb as well. I'll put some links to that stuff in the description. Hey, if you like this, check out my uh, bone-in leg of lamb. Will you show them where that is over there, Mark? Yeah, it's right over there. And uh, if you've seen that one already, I did two lamb shoulders. I'm gonna put one of them right, uh, right down there. So <laughs> check that one out and we'll see you next time on Eat, Eat More Vegans. Vegans.